into fighting shape, I want you to drink this glass of raw eggs. I don't see any yolks. Just drink it. All right, Meg, remember what I taught you. Relax my throat and make eye contact? No, no, the fighting stuff. I was wondering if I could borrow some roofies. Oh, sure, sure, just a sec. Roofies, huh? Pretty big pill for such a little girl. Yeah, I know. But I asked someone to do me a favor, and they're not too keen on doing it. Oh, I know what they're for, honey. Seeing anyone special these days? Yay, hey, obviously, right? <laughs> right, of course, yeah. Okay, well, listen, good luck with everything, and uh, call me if you get arrested. I will. Thanks. That's what it's all about, Glenn. Don't rape it back, rape it forward. Here's your baby. She's beautiful. <laughs> Isn't she, sweetheart? She sure is, Joe. It's hard to believe she's already 18. Should have just stuck to the plan. Well, I figured you might get soft on me, so I hired an old friend to scar them for life. Hey there, sweetie. How old are you? 16. 18? You're first. Mom! I like where this is going. Giggity, giggity, gig, good -gi -gi. This family is what's best for Anna Lee. This is her home now. I gotta let her go. I'm proud of you, Quagmire. Thanks, man. Hey, who knows? Maybe I'll bump into her in 18 years. What? Did you really think I was going to change that much? Get out, everybody! What's going on? <laughs> Not really sure what I'm supposed to do with you. There's some frozen steaks in the freezer. Bathroom's down the hall to the right. Uh, if you ever come home and there's a tie on the door, it means I'm frogging someone, so give me at least a couple hours. You smoke? Now you're overreacting, Lois. And you can't spell overreacting without ovary. Because you're a girl. I'm not overreacting. Hey, uh, just an FYI, uh, really no reason to go into any greater detail than this. Uh, Stewie should probably never use this pacifier again. Okay, so I'll talk to him tomorrow? <laughs> hey, you ever accidentally masturbate to young pictures of your mom? Who the f*** starts a conversation like that? I just sat down. Well, that doesn't totally surprise me. A friend of mine staying in my house got, um, injured, and my homeowner's insurance wouldn't pay her doctor bills. Said the policy didn't cover an active rod. Joe, hold your handcuffs over my lap. What the hell is that? Swiss Army penis. Well, Quagmire, that's incredible. Peter? Well, yours are made of a stronger metal. We're gonna have to go with the acetylene torch penis. Don't, don't look right at it. My STDs help it burn brighter. Anyway, you guys got the talent, but what you need is a manager. Someone with no talent who can take a lion's share of your earnings. You'd do that for us? Sure I would. So what do you say? Can I be your manager? You betcha. All right, put it there. No, I've seen your prescriptions. Let's just say we're doing it. Uh, what does Xerxes eat? Rodents. Now, if you'll excuse me. Ah, ah, what the hell? Ah, 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 Peter, make him stop! <laughs> Hey, what do you got going on down here, Quagmire? You, you, got, a, you got a rodent situation? Uh, no! Well, Xerxes seems to think there is. Get him off, Peter! Admit you got a rodent in there. Peter! Admit it! Oh, you scared him out the front. Tony, come back! Peter, jury duty is an important cornerstone in our democratic society. Yeah, that's what separates us from the monkeys. That and the armed guards at the zoo. Man, they got some sexy monkeys down there. So, how long you been in beauty school? Two months. Well, tonight we're doing facials. Did you have sex with this underage girl? I don't want to go to jail, but I really want to take credit. Quagmire, I'm afraid you're under arrest for statutory rape. <sighs> all right, but let me just send the pictures I took of her last night to all my friends. Uh... Oh, yeah! Boom! You're disgusting. Take them away. We've got all the awesome evidence we need. We're going to New Orleans, the party capital of America. Home of the all-you-can-pay straight. i tell you one thing. It's all about the beads down there. We all know what's going on here. It's just implied, but we all know what's going on in this thought bubble. The kids don't know, but we do. Since boxing is a rapidly growing part of the field. You should consider your wife competing for a belt. Well, she did look like she knew what she was doing up there. Think about it. Here's my card. <laughs> what can I say? I really like watching her box. That means two things. 
But in this universe, Christianity never existed, which means the dark ages of scientific repression never occurred, and thus humanity is a thousand years more advanced. Hey, look, there's Quagmire. Thanks, honey. Say hi to your husband. Oh, I got AIDS again. Better take my NyQuil cold flu and AIDS. All gone. They're so lonely, they're practicing kissing each other. I don't think they're practicing. Oh. 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 So, you ladies ever been penetrated? Well, Brian's a complete dick, we all know that. But I think we're losing sight of the point that Bonnie's a weird slut who's always letting you know she's open for business. What? When am I doing that? Oh, come on, when are you not doing that? With that boo-boo baby voice and that still breastfeeding rack? Ugh, give me some of that! Oh, look, here's a simulation of what it's like to have sex with Quagmire. Hi. <laughs> Well, sex is overrated. Stay out of this, Joe. All right, look, forget the party. We got a more important mission now. Your 2,000-year-long cold streak is about to come to an end. What do you mean? I'm saying, Jesus, we are going to help you lose your virginity. <laughs> God, I love sex. All right, kids, now pay attention. All right, these are all of Quagmire's women organized by country. There's Brazil. There's Italy. And there's Thailand. Wow. Wow, they're young. We should go. You're still here? Yeah. After a wonderful night, I, I thought we could get some breakfast. <laughs> Clearly, you're not familiar with how this works. Here, let me help you to the door. You're a jerk, Glenn Quagmire. One of these days, you're going to get what you deserve. You better put something warm on. You got an icicle forming down there. Dumb broad left her electric tampon warmer. Great to meet you all, and I'm looking forward to getting to know you while we're here. <sighs> Dude, put your pants on! Shut up! Everyone sees me as a woman! Oh no! This is the universe giving me what I deserve for being such a pig all the time! From now on, I'm gonna do things differently. Men are jerks. Let's swear off of them and find comfort in each other. Come here, you guys! Hmm. Yeah. Mittens has food in his bowl. That's old food. Mittens, shut up. Mittens, shut up. Don't you talk to Mittens that way. Mittens is a member of this family. Mom, you want this three-way to happen, you're going to have to change your tone. Oh, boy. I hope there's a scale in there. I'd like to have a before and after on this one. I'll be out in a minute. I really need to go. She said she'll be out in a minute. You could get a hair transplant. Oh, yeah, like one of those guys pretending to get out of the pool? That looks all right. Yeah, come on, Quagmire. Get the hair transplant. Come back to us. You're right. This isn't me. Baldness is for women's crotches, not men's heads. There you go. That's pretty gross. Would you just sit down and go to the bathroom already? <laughs>